hello traders and welcome back to our baby peeps course for today we are still on on the graduate sophomore we just concluded um course 8.1 and that's the us dollar index and we're about to consider the intermarket correlations so let's dive right into it and here we are on intermarket correlations and so we have subtopics like how gold affects au and USDCHF price Okay, how oil moves with USD card, US dollar and oil relationship is changing, how bond yields affect currency movement, how bond spreads between how bond spreads between two currencies, two countries affect their exchange rate, and how fixed income securities affect currency movement. So that's uh eight point two. We're making progress. We have about four, make two to go for also complete on the graduate sophomore and so let's uh, dive right into it as we consider the very first subtopic on the intermarket correlations how gold affects au and USDCHF prices so as we always do if we want to begin a new course like this let's always we always roll the intro so let's roll the intro buddy <laughs> So here we are on how gold affects AU and USDCHF prices. Okay, so uh, gold is directly tied to the movement of AU and the uh, USDCHF. Why is that so? It is important for us to first of all note that if the price of gold is going up, the US dollar drops and vice versa so if the us dollar is going up the price of gold drops down that's a correlation okay so there's no magic about that just know that that's what baby people is saying so uh if there is unrest okay maybe there's any economic unrest and investors tend to dump their to dump the uh, us dollar okay and then they go for for gold and that's the reason why uh, the price of uh, gold will go up okay and uh, if, if nothing is wrong with the economy everything is going fine investors usually invest in the United States dollar why is that so US dollar is the largest economy in the world so where would you want to put your money is in the largest or the second largest or the third largest so since US is the largest economy in the world okay and the economy is doing well everybody's investing in the US dollar okay why even more so is the reserve currency we already established that so however when there's a problem maybe there's an economic unrest okay in in the in the country okay the country is not doing well economically and all that investors tend to pull their money out of the us dollar okay out of us and invest that money on gold so what's going to happen to gold the price of gold will rise up and the prices of the us dollar we fall down so that's a correlation between the uh, between dollar and uh, the USD so now what about gold and AUD USD now there's also an inverse relationship between the dollar and gold and it also affects the uh, US dollar I mean the Australian dollar why is that so look at the price we're looking at here the shaft we're looking at here when we saw that the price uh, gold, okay, the price of gold uh, is rising, which is the blue line. What do we see with with regards to the prices of uh, the Australian US dollar AU, which is the red line? It is also rising up. Why? Because Australia is the world's third largest gold digger. What do we mean that they they sell lots of gold, they produce lots of gold? and sell gold worth over five billion okay uh, i mean yes or five billion as you can see here so that is the reason why the prices of uh, the australian dollar rises up okay so gold has a positive correlation with au okay so when goes good gold goes up au tends to go up and when gold gold falls down au also tends to for down so historically AU has had a whooping 80 percent correlation to the price of 
good okay so look at another shot also good and USCHF was a correlation now the price of gold is the blue line and it's rising up and look at the price of the USCHF the red line it is coming down why the United the I'm sorry the I said United the Switzerland the Swiss franc also has a strong link with gold why because the Swiss okay they back all their you know investment okay the back all their investment on gold okay so over 25 percent of Switzerland's money is backed by the gold reserves and so since the price of gold is going up USCHF prices will definitely come down because the USD is the base currency here Swiss franc is the quote currency so whenever gold goes up on its own we know the USD is is going down okay so the Swiss franc will definitely tank up so that's why the blue line is going up USDC I mean uh, the red line is going uh, is going down USDCH if that's a red line okay then the blue line is a gold line so just have this at the back of your mind know the reasons why all of all this is happening so that's the explanation now let's move to the next lesson that talks about how oil moves how oil moves with USDC USD card So here we are on how oil moves with USCAD. Okay, so you know this is Canadian dollar. Okay, so um, crude oil, which is also known as black gold, okay, or black crack, as BBP calls it here. Um, yes, I mean is a is the lifeline. I mean the blood that runs through the veins of the global economy and. Canada is one of the largest crude oil producers in the world. It exports over 3 million barrels of oil and petroleum products per day to the United States. So this makes it the largest supply of oil to the US. So see the chart here and look at uh, the diagram that shows how the United States imports oil. Okay, now Canada is the uh, blue part here. Canada supplies Canada alone supplies US over 37.1 percent of oil okay so it is the largest supply of oil to the US it is very very close to the US as well so look at other countries here we have Saudi Arabia we have Mexico Venezuela Kuwait Colombia and Iraq and with that um, the price of oil is currently I mean directly tied to the uh, USA car so if oil prices is you know going up the USD card okay we definitely fall but if oil prices is going down okay the USD card it will definitely go up it affects the moves of um on the USD CAD so now let's just read here for reading sake if the if US demands rises okay manufacturers will need to order more oil to keep up with demand this can lead to a rise in oil prices which might lead to the fall of the USD card, what we just said. However, on the other hand, if US demand for if US demand falls, manufacturers may decide to chill, you know, to chill out, so they don't need to make uh, more goods. So demand for oil might fall, which could hurt demand for the Canadian dollar. So oil has a negative correlation with US card of about 93 percent between 2000 to 2016 so when oil price goes up USD card goes down when oil price goes down USD card goes up look at the shot here basically telling us how uh the price of crude oil affects the currency pair USD card now the green line is the USD card while the orange line is the price of crude oil we see that whenever the price is dropping down here okay I mean yes when the oil price is dropping down here we see the price of the USD card the green line also dropping okay and when it is rising up it's very very close and very similar so having this at the back of our mind okay we give you a um, lot of power information uh, you know for you to succeed in the market so where can we find information to monitor the prices of gold or oil prices? You can go to uh, Yahoo Finance and you can also check on oil prices on Bloomberg. Okay, so let's move to the next lesson that talks about the US dollar and oil relationship is changing. 
so here we are on the us dollar on oil relationship is changing so this is really going to be very quick i'm not going <clears> to <throat> i mean i mean uh talk long about this i will just explain but like, let's just read to begin with it says uh historically the price of oil is inversely related to the price of the us dollar the explanation for this relationship is based on two well-known premises okay now the very first promise is that a barrel of oil is priced in us dollar across the world when the us dollar is strong you need fewer us dollars to buy a barrel of oil when the us dollar is weak the price of oil is high in dollar terms now the second uh, premise is that the united states has historically been a net import of oil rising oil prices cause the us uh, trade balance deficit to rise as more dollars are needed to be, to be sent uh, abroad okay and that still holds true so much for today however the united states has become a net exporter of refined petroleum products in 2011 since 2011 the u.s has been exporting refined petroleum products okay and 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 as such it has now become the largest producer of crude oil even overtaking saudi arabia and russia so here the, the diagram that shows uh u.s overtaking saudi arabia russia followed by canada okay so according to the energy information and administration okay the u.s is now about 90 percent self-sufficient in terms of crude oil consumption so with all of all this it gives you as a very strong hand with regards to the price of oil okay not affecting it if it can sustain itself 90 90 percent okay if it can sustain itself self-sufficiently okay without with over 90 percent of total energy consumption what does it need to order other people you know other oils from other countries for nothing so this factor alone makes okay this heading come into play the us dollar and oil relationship is changing why because of this just this factor alone the us is 90 percent so self-sufficient so the prices of oil might not necessarily affect the us dollar okay or the us card it might not necessarily affect it because you know they are, the us is not producing oil on its own yeah they are so these are just diagrams that we put here to to explain all of all this but the point is being explained i think i've explained that if you want to find more uh, more answers to this or more explanations you can come and read all of all this like here it says the us may start to trade more like a petrol currency in the years to come as the us continues to grow the share of oil exports over imports okay revenue from oil will play a greater role in the u.s economy and the u.s dollar may start behaving like a str like a petrol currency meaning when prices when oil prices goes up so does the currency okay why is all of all this happening because the u.s is exporting refined oil and refined oil products okay so that's the advantage now let's move on to the next lesson that says how bond yields affect currency movements so here we are on how body how bond yields affect uh currency movement so what is a bond a bond is an iou issued by an entity when it needs to borrow money so these entities might be government municipalities multinational companies okay they need money to operate so they would do they borrow money from people like banks or individuals like you and me and so when you go and buy a government bond in effect the government has borrowed money from you promising to pay you back at a particular time okay so one of the major difference between bonds is typically that they take time to mature okay and the time of the maturity is when the government pays you back and this can read between one two three four ten years and above and so when an investor purchases a bond from a company he gets paid a specific or a specified rate of return also known as bond yield okay as at that particular time the the years that the yield is going to be bond is going to last when that time comes you pay a specific uh rate of return 
on that bond yield. Now, bond yield refers to the rates of which uh, interest is paid to the bondholder, while the bond price is the amount of money the bondholder pays for the bond. Okay, so there are factors that uh, that affects the bond yield and bond price. And what are those factors? Interest. Okay, so if interest rates rise, the bond prices will fall. However, the the yields will rise. But if the interest rate falls, okay, the yield will fall, but the bond prices will rise. And so those are the factors that affect uh, the bond prices and the bond yield. Now, bond yields actually serve as an excellent indicator of the strength of a nation's stock market which increases the demand for the nation's currency so for example bond yields gauge the performance of the u.s stock market thereby reflecting the demand for the u.s dollar so let's look at another scenario so let's say demand for bonds usually increases which investors are concerned about the safety of their investment okay or stock investment so what do they do they move all of the bonds okay from uh, the risky one to the less risky one which are now safe haven so as more and more investors move away from stocks okay and uh, other high risk investments increase demand for less risky instruments such as US bonds uh, at the safe haven and the US dollar pushes their prices higher so government bonds yields act as an indicator of the overall direction of the country's interest rates and expectation so a rising yield is uh, a rising yield is a dollar being bullish a falling yield is a dollar being bearish so it is important to know the underlying dynamics of why bond yields is rising or falling interest rates okay interest rate remember now it can be based on interest rate expectations or it can be based on market uncertainty and the flight to safety with capital flowing from risky assets like stocks to less risky assets like bonds so having understood how rising bond yields usually cause initial currency to appreciate now you may be thinking how can this apply to trading forex okay just be patient we're gonna learn that very soon so uh we also remember that um one of our goals of trading forex okay is to pair a very strong currency with a weak one by first comparing their respective economies so how can you use bond yields to do that now that takes us to the next lesson that says how bond spreads how bond spreads between okay let me take this again how bond spreads between two countries affect their exchange rate so let's go so here we are how bond spreads between two countries affect their exchange rate now the bond spreads represent the difference between two countries bond yields now this difference gives rise to carry trade which we have learnt earlier on. So by monitoring bond spreads and expectations for interest rate changes, you will have an idea of where the currency pairs are headed. Okay. So as a bond spread between two economies widens, the currency of the country with the higher bond yields appreciates against the other currency of the country with the lower bond yield. Okay, so you can observe from the diagram above of the AUD US the price action the bond yield spread between the Australian dollar and the US dollar between a 10 year period of government bonds from January to 2000 January 2000 to, to January 2012 you will notice a lot of movement okay a lot of movement from here the left hand side to the right hand side now notice that when the bond spread rose from 0 0.50 here okay to 1.0 here okay from 2004 to from 2002 to 2004 au rose from 
fifty percent to almost five thousand to seven thousand now so where is it now look at it here five k to seven k one point zero okay that's how the bond rules up to okay and uh, the same happened between 2007 when the bond rose uh, bond differential rose from 1.0 to 2.5 au rose from 7000 7000 to above 0.9000 okay from 1.0 to uh, 2.5 from 7000 okay to 9000 look at it here so phenomenal movement interest rate differentials all of all these factors probably they definitely play in uh the rises of uh, price okay so when bond spreads are increasing between eu okay aud usd treasuries traders load up on their lungs on eu positions why to take advantage of the carry trade okay Th that also takes place happens between all bonds like the gu it happens as well okay when the uh, interest rate differentials between the uh, gbp usd fell the uh, prices also also drop drastically as you can see here so that's basically how you can use bonds okay bond spring between two countries to gauge the direction of a particular currency pair so now let's move to the next lesson that says how fixed income securities affect currency movements so here we are on how fixed income securities affect currency movement now what are fixed income securities fixed income securities are investment that offer a fixed payment at regular time intervals now economies that offer higher returns on their fixed income securities should attract more investment okay now so this would make them make their local currency more attractive than those of the other economies okay offering lower returns on their fixed income market so for instance let's see the let's consider the guilds and uh Euribos. we're talking about the uk bonds and european securities guilds is for uk Euribos is for the european securities okay okay let's say eu and this is uk now if Euribos, which is the europe are offering a low rate of return compared to the uk the guild investors will be discouraged from putting their money in the eurozone okay because at fixed income market the the return is low but they will not rather put it on the higher okay yielding assets which is the guild okay that's the uk so that is basically how you use this to gauge uh how you use fixed income rate to gauge movements of uh, price direction okay and you can use other that of other countries as well brazil and russia to trade the uh the ruble and the real okay and if you want to find uh, i mean to find more information about these correlations okay you can use the bloomberg or you can also use uh trading economies okay just head here click click and go so here are the economies that are practice fixed income okay uh fixed uh what is it called fixed income securities okay and their acronyms or their bonds so here they are i'm not going to read all of these you can come back and do that if you want to now some countries also offer bonds with varying interests to maturity so just make sure we are comparing bonds with the same term to maturity such as five-year guilds to five-year euro balls so otherwise your analysis will be off so are we done here yet i think so yes i think we are done with lesson uh 8.2 uh how fixed uh, income securities affect currency movement so with that my friends i want to say uh please share this video to with your friends and family uh like the uh, click the like button or you can click the unlike button and tell us tell me what i need to do to improve on these videos okay i'm going to tell me what videos you want me to put up okay when next uh, i'm putting up any video again and then i'll do that and then uh if you haven't already please smash the like button subscribe for me my friends and until next time take care